Before I begin this video, I just want to show you guys a glimpse of what it's been like in St. Lucia in terms of the flooding. We have experienced a lot of rainfall and the drainage system in the city and in different towns are not the best. So it's been very difficult for some people to go to school and work. So please keep us in your prayer and thoughts and hopefully we can all get through this together as one family, one nation. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I'm so excited to start this vlog. So today is Wednesday the 28th of September 2022. Um, I wanted to vlog this week but Monday it was so it was so much rain that um, I went to the hospital but we didn't we didn't really do much because we couldn't really move around. And Tuesday, I actually stayed home. My consultant told me to stay home because, funny thing is, I'm doing pathology right now. We're not dealing with live human beings. We're dealing with specimen, you know, analyzing specimen for cancer or different things, you know, histology, cytology, serology. That's what we're doing right now. So I'm not dealing with live patients right now. So, you know, my pathology elective is more like um, looking at different things under the microscope, analyzing and, you know, just explaining stuff, doing different, um, having lectures and stuff like that. But before I even get into that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sonita Edward. I'm a medical student, soon to be a physician. Um, and right now I am doing my pathology resident in St. Lucia, St. Jude's Hospital. Um, if you always are um, watching my videos, if you're not new to my channel, last time you saw me, I was in England. <laughs> yes, I was in England for about a month, but I was just there on vacation. I needed a break after I left Jamaica. Before I came to St. Lucia to do my electives, I needed a little break. So I took a break, um, in England, but now I am in St. Lucia where I will continue the rest of my electives. Okay. Just to explain that. I'm at, in St. Jude's Hospital, most people would call St. Jude's Hospital a stadium and I'm going to do a whole video about St. Jude's Hospital and the stadium. Um, just a little background, St. Jude's Hospital in Viewport, St. Lucia burnt down 13 years ago and since then the doctors have been using the National Stadium um, as the hospital and honestly, before I actually went there, I didn't realize what good of a job they were doing because these people have limited resources, limited space, and the fact that they can perform world-class surgeries and treatment in a stadium where there was like sports equipment and it's, I'm going to show you guys the pictures right now. I'm going to put the pictures on the screen. Just the, just the pictures, you can see that the area is, is, um, dilapidated and it's just, I mean, they're doing the best they can. And I feel like if you're in St. Lucia, you should be gracious when you go there. Um, because these people, I would compare them to like military doctors. You know, those military doctors that have to work under pressure, um, not in the best lighting, and they just have to do surgeries on the battlefield. I feel like this is what it is. And the fact that they can actually do that tells me that these are world-class people. The doctors, the nurses, the staff, 10 out of 10 but like i said i'm gonna do a whole video about that um i don't want to get too much into that i just wanted to show you guys a glimpse of the area and what it's like but yeah um anyway so um i'm running a little behind the doctor actually texted me this morning and told me to come a little later because she was gonna get to the lab late so it's almost nine o'clock right now but i'm gonna leave soon and yeah we're just gonna you're gonna spend a week with me pretty much i wanted to start vlogging on monday but i couldn't so i'm gonna start vlogging today wednesday i'm gonna take you guys to work with me at the hospital and we're gonna just you know have a week together so obviously i don't think i can film most of the equipment and stuff i can't film inside the hospital grounds you know there's a policy you can't put that stuff out there so i'm gonna have to be discreet when i film i'm sorry but i'm gonna do the best i can and I'm just going to show you guys what it's like a week in 
a pathology doctor's life in St. Lucia in the Caribbean. Yeah. I'm thinking of how I'll name my video. Anyways, so come on, let's go. We gotta go. I gotta do my hair. I don't when I go to the hospitals, I don't wear makeup and the good thing is, you know, there's no mask mandate in St. Lucia anymore. Let me just check my hair out. I like wearing a low ponytail when I'm going to the hospital. It looks more professional. And of course I do my edges. I'll show you guys how I do that. But there's no mask uh, mandate, mandate in St. Lucia right now. So, you know, you can come to St. Lucia. You don't have to wear masks. But, you know, in the hospital, we got to wear masks. So I thought my face is covered anyway. So I don't wear makeup or anything like that when I'm there. How does this look? This looks pretty good. And I like braiding my hair because it's a hairstyle I can just, you know, comb in. What's this? 15 seconds? I'm going to do my baby hair. Then we're going to head out the door. So let's do that. So this is what I use, you know, to get my baby hair under control, my little guts to be glued. And I'm wearing nails, yes, because, um, you know, pathology, and I need, to, I need to use the mirror lower down, guys, I'm sorry. Pathology, um, like I said, we don't deal with patients, with real patients. We deal with patients, patient specimen. So basically what happens is if the doctors, like the OBGYN doctor does a pap smear, or if the surgeons um, remove any body part, can be whether it's, you know, your intestines, your pancreas, your appendix, your ovaries, whatever they remove, whatever body part they remove, they send it to the lab, to the pathologist to analyze it, see if there's any, you know, carcinomas, any cancers, if it's just a normal tissue. And then the pathologist would give the report if there's any cancer to the oncologist. And the oncologist would, you know, take it from there, give treatment, radiation, chemotherapy, whatever, whatever they deem necessary based on the pathologist's results. So, you know, pathology, although they don't like deal with the real patients, it's very important that the pathologist gets it right. Because imagine a pathologist says, you know, there is no cancer or they read the specimen wrong or they don't do what they're supposed to and the doctor thinks there's no cancer in the biopsy and instead of cutting out the tumor and cutting out um, a larger margin of the tumor the margin is around the tumor um usually if it's cancer you know they try to get all the margins around it just to be sure before it metastasizes that's before it metastasizes if it has metastasized to your other organs or to your blood, that's a whole different story, but we're not going to get into that. The pathologist needs to say if it's cancerous or if it's just, you know, benign, malignant or benign. And based on that, the surgeons would know how to proceed, whether it's partial resection, um, you know, etc, etc. So although you don't see the pathologist, you see the other doctors, their job is just as important let me get my shoes on okay i'm dressed let me show you my outfit simple today black long pants i have this top uh, my white jacket and i love this belt it's a carbon crime belt uh, can you hear me i'm gonna pop too fast so i was saying i'm wearing this this gorgeous top black pants black long pants my white jacket of course although sometimes i remove it if i'm too hot at work <laughs> But there's AC in the path lab, in the pathology lab, so. And I'm wearing my watch and, um, oh, my Calvin Klein belt, which I love. This belt is like the best investment I've ever had, I've ever done. Okay, so let's go. So guys, I am here. I just arrived to the stadium hospital for work. So let's go inside and let's begin the day. Hello you guys, 
so um, I just left my session we did a good five hours of session it was really good um, the only thing is we didn't get new samples so we were unable to you know do some grossing with different specimen but when we were leaving the surgeon one of the people who works in the surgery department he was actually bringing new samples and I'm like damn it you know we but we had already been dismissed um, but she said that we're gonna be grossing the new samples tomorrow so it's gonna be okay but we actually did do a session in um, we were doing cytology, histology, the differences and how to read different specimens. So that was really good. Um, she actually had a whole PowerPoint explaining to us. So yeah, I loved it and how to fix different slides, the staining techniques and stuff like that. But tomorrow we're actually gonna do a, have a discussion on refractory anemia, bone marrow biopsy. So I definitely want to read up on that tonight. I don't like to go into a session um, clueless. It's good to have a little background knowledge so whatever they explain it's cemented in your brain so that's my plan for tonight but um i want to wet your palate a little i am definitely gonna be doing a video on saint jude's hospital and how um for 13 years we, we have a stadium hospital because you know the hospital in the real hospital has not been built yet or renovated in 13 years well it's, it started but it hasn't been completed yet so i'm gonna do a whole discussion about that talk about it give you the history but let me just wet your palate you know like i said and just show you what the building looks like the poor condition and you will understand why i say that the doctors here are world class 10 out of 10. um the doctors the nurses the staff the all they work the conditions they work in it's amazing that they can actually perform their duties so let me just show you guys a glimpse and you'll see what i mean so let's go <laughs> like look at this so this is what it is it's literally a stadium like i said um you can see here the chairs so this is literally where we would sit when we had sports i just enjoy sports but now all the areas downstairs which was more like the canteens areas um, where they would sell food and stuff where they would have the equipment this is what they use now for the hospital so yeah literally this is angel's hospital slash stadium slash yeah slash we need better healthcare in Beaufort. okay guys so i am back home and i made myself a little salad for lunch you know you gotta eat healthy i'm just trying to eat healthy maintain my weight loss so i made this um bacon egg avocado lettuce cheese cu not cucumber sorry carrot cabbage and vinaigrette salad it is so good Guys, this salad, I know it looks messy, 100% it looks messy, but it is so good, like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So let answer that phone. I'm eating. Someone's gonna get the phone. But honestly, it is so good, like literally the best. And all the ingredients you would have at home, like... Well, except maybe the bacon, but like the carrots you have at home, lettuce, cabbage, um, the chives. Mm, you can make your own vinaigrette, which is what I did. And like literally everything you have at home, eggs. Yeah. So, if you're on the keto diet or want to try the keto diet, I recommend this. Like one meal a day make this your meal of the day because it is so good like an avocado is optional i have avocado so i put avocado in it but that's optional you don't need to mm. so good okay let me get this phone hold on <laughs> hey guys so what's up it is thursday the 29th of september yeah, i'm giving you 
pink amazingness but um my little ootd i have a pink um what do you call this thing that tack underneath your crotch bodysuit pink bodysuit my jacket and a black long trousers and guys unfortunately i had um i sprained my ankle i don't know if you can see this because i'm using the backwards camera but i sprained my ankle um well i didn't sprain my ankle this ankle i sprained years ago like maybe 10 15 years ago but whenever i do too much work or if i sleep awkward because i slept with my with my um uncle um dorsiflexed so it was like this way like yeah there was something um on my i kind of slept in an awkward position pretty much so it just started really hurting me and when i woke up like i could not plant a flex it and it was just yeah but i didn't want to stay home just because of a, a little ankle situation so i still came to work but yeah that is why i'm wearing a brace today but let's go to the park. i gotta put on my mask before i enter the people the people's laboratory okay so we're going oh let me check the lunch room let me see if anyone's there okay no one's in the lunch room but let's go to the path lab it's open i'm a bit early it's only me here and one of the lab technicians the doctor isn't here yet but that's, I'm, I'm super early my dad actually took me to work today and it was really early so I'm not surprised I'm the only one here, but the good thing is there's air condition here. So I'm gonna just sit here and chill and stop sweating and then begin our day later when the doctor arrives. So here guys, we were actually looking at some slides from a bone marrow biopsy from a patient. And I tried to zoom in a bit into the microscope just to show you guys what we were looking at and to identify some cells but it was kind of difficult but i did try so here i don't know if you can see um neutrophils and there's a monocyte right there the kidney shaped nucleus and there were a lot of lymphocytes but um, i wasn't getting a good picture so before we left the lab my colleague and i we had to take a picture because we showed up in the same outfit which was so funny it was not planned we both had hot pink fuchsia tops and black long trousers and i am literally like a foot taller than her so it was so cute we had to take a picture and we looked like twins like um Sch arnold schwarzinger and danny devito if you haven't seen the movie please go check it out i'm gonna put a picture right now on the screen so you know what i'm talking about it was <laughs> hilarious i loved it and here is how some of the photos came out Alright guys, so it's the next day. It's actually Friday today, so I'm just doing some work. I'm reading up on some stuff. Um, I was actually studying celiac disease and just reading different things around it. Um, oh, this is the whole Shein haul I was watching. Ignore this. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. It's about, what, 5.23 right now. So this is literally everything I'm doing until bedtime oh god and this is how i look right now guys when i'm studying i'm like a whole hot mess um i'm actually supposed to be um helping out bartending tonight so i'm not even sure if that's gonna still happen but we'll see um but yeah this is me i'm wearing this tiger print um outfit it's giving cheetah it's giving amazon it's giving lion it's giving tiger <laughs> not for real y'all so that is it for me um i think i'm gonna end the video right now and please check out my next video i'm gonna be talking more about um st Jude's hospital um and the fire 13 years ago and just giving some history about that so please stay tuned for that it's gonna be informative it's gonna be great so you don't want to miss that video this video is just a vlog so I didn't want to incorporate vlogging and something so important. So I wanted to, you know, divide it into two videos. So look out for part two, which will be coming soon. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye, guys.